Okay guys, so the, the number on the bulbs you're looking for is 1156. Uh, I picked these up at Napa for like five bucks for a two pack. Or I had some in the uh, cabinet that are number 1141. It's the same base. I don't know what the difference is, uh, but I've got an 1141 in here and it's working. So let me show you how I'm doing wiring here. As uh, far as I can tell, I'm guessing this is original uh, setup here. So the wire, I got one hot wire coming from the switch up to this terminal, and then I got the other wire going out to the other headlight. And uh, the other headlight will just have, you know, that one wire on it then. This post here, I don't know if you can see it or not, that black there, I scraped this with a wire brush real good just to be sure, but that this post is an insulation material. So your terminals can touch this post and you don't have to worry about grounding out. Uh, on the other side of that post, the light, the fixture, is actually wired into the back side of that and it's all held together with a clip. So that's how you can get through this metal housing uh, and your lights are not shorting out. Now I've got the headlight switch on and you'll see that once this, once the, hou the, the housing and the fixture come in contact, you pick up ground and if you're getting the flicker light or whatever, you know, if your lights are, you hit a bump or whatever, check to make sure that you got a good connection here because you could have a poor connection and it might do something like this. So uh, again, I showed you how the, uh, the lights, you know, all plug together, you use the uh, clamp and the screw to hold the lens and the fixture together. So I'm going to set this in, I'm going to put the lens over top of that and then the clamp goes around it and holds the whole mess together. So that's it. That's the headlights in a nutshell. All right, guys. So you can see now the clearance that we've got on that alternator, and uh, most importantly, that stud there on top. There's, uh, I mean, there's inches of clearance around it now. So it hides up under there real well. I mean, from uh, you know normal height, you know, stepping back, I'm standing three, four feet away from the tractor. I mean, you barely see the alternator. So. Uh, I'm real happy with how that uh, how that's hidden up under the hood now. All right, guys. Well, you're gonna be seeing it with me first uh, first time here. Let's watch our voltmeter. Pull pull the uh, switch. Okay, so this is gonna be hopefully a some bitch take right off. I have not tried to even crank this thing since we did the 12 volt conversion and put a new carburetor on it. So. Uh, you guys are going to be seeing this with me. Um, I got my uh, I got my throttle about half position, I guess. I'm not going to choke it. We'll see what happens here. Let's pull our starter rod, and I got it neutral. See what happens here. <laughs> that's that's promising. A lot of smoke there, but we'll see. Uh, let's hit it again. Oh boy, it wants to. Give her a little throttle. Here we go, boys and girls. I want smoking to beat the band, but I had so much crap in them cylinders because you know that this engine was seized up. So this is the first time it's run since it's been unseized. Got a 12 volt conversion. And it's got a new carburetor on it, so we'll see if that uh, smoke flares up here a little bit. But uh, man, that's all right. Now, see that uh, we're charging down here. We're making all kind of voltage, so you know, our alternator's working good. Okay, so it's been running for, I don't know, maybe five minutes. You can see I got all the doors open because it was smoking to beat the band there for just a couple of minutes. Now that it's warming up, it's burning all the crap out of them cylinders, though. There ain't a bit of smoke coming out. As far as the electrical goes, I mean, you guys saw it was charging. Um, I'll push that switch back in so we're not uh, just killing it. But even with tinkering with the lights and stuff, well, heck, you know what? Let's just do it. I was playing with the lights a little bit. See the voltmeter come up. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull the starter rod here and we'll start it back up. You can see what the voltmeter does. Okay, so you can tell that the voltage now has actually gone up just a bit. So our alternator is charging 
even at low RPMs, which is a good thing. I'll play it with a throttle here just a little bit, try to get it low, but not dead. I gotta adjust that, uh, adjust the idle again. But you can see it's still charging at very low RPMs. That's as low as I want it to run. And then when we turn the lights on, it's just maintaining, it's just keeping itself going. It's not losing voltage, but it doesn't look like it's making a whole lot. Now we'll throttle it up. <coughs> so, I mean, that's uh, probably hard to tell on a video, but that's still not idled up very high. And it's making a lot of voltage still, so, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with how that how that 12-volt uh, conversion is going. I don't see any reason to modify the uh, wiring diagram that I originally started with, so. Uh, that's it, I'm gonna adjust that idle a little bit. And uh, so 12-volt conversion, that's done. Uh, I'll post the, I'll post the uh, wiring diagram right now. And uh, good luck, guys, if you got any question with your uh, uh, wiring or 12-volt conversion or whatever, you know, uh, Leave them in the comments. I'd be glad to uh, be glad to try to help any way I can. Uh, you guys want to subscribe? You know I'm going to be doing some more stuff on this. I got to uh, come up with a linkage for the hydraulics, and uh, man, that's we're getting down to the end. Uh, you know, nitty gritty here. So uh, I'll be doing them linkages next. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Uh, you know, let me know how I can improve my videos. I'd sure appreciate it.